Um, well, with COVID-19, um, it was a little scary at first, but um, we were able to make it through it very easily. Um, my husband was furloughed. Luckily, I was not. How the um, club, the members, Mr. Logodice, and the board of directors have taken such excellent care of the employees. It's just the way that the, the board and, and our membership um, has really taken the reins to support the staff. We didn't really let anybody go. Uh, we didn't furlough anyone. We had staff on call. So we had many staff working from home. Uh, we had staff meetings throughout the closures. Um, we did, you know, let some of our seasonal staff head back up north to their families. A lot of our international staff, uh, we were able to get home to their home countries as well um, early enough uh, before a lot of the, the flights were canceled and they couldn't get home. You know, so the club was very supportive of not only the domestic staff, but also the international staff. Yeah, I think it really shows a lot um, that the club has been able to keep all of the staff that, um, that, that runs this place. No one's been let go, which I think is really amazing. Well, it has been a true blessing in, in the club at not laying us off. I know a lot of my colleagues in the, in the tennis industry were, were being laid off and it was real tough. And, you know, it's a very scary time. So it, we're very thankful that, that IBIS has committed to, to keeping us on. I am extremely thankful and grateful to our members and uh, the board of directors that, that supported us. I am especially thankful for our GM, who I feel has been rock solid in communicating often and clearly. And for me, that has kept the anxiety down. Uh, my direct manager, Chuck Gill, called me all the time, FaceTimed me just to see if I was holding up okay. And that spoke volumes and showed me that he cared. Um, many people got furloughed, many people got laid off. Right here that we had jobs, we knew we were here, and we had anyone that we had questions with were there to answer the questions for us. The focus on making sure everyone is safe and comfortable at work has been huge. Um, secondly, the, the membership, um, taking care of people that have been told to stay home, uh, taking care of people that don't feel safe or have been sick. So it's just been a wonderful response and makes me really proud to be a part of the club at Ibis. The employees, um, you know, very fortunate here at IBIS. We've had so much support from the executive team and from the membership. Uh, we were very fortunate and we're uh, very grateful for that. Uh, my staff quarantined immediately. The spa was one of the first departments that was uh, closed down uh, due to the one-on-one -on -one contact. Um, and we really appreciated that because we would think it did make a difference in keeping everyone healthy. Well, one thing is they kept it by working. Everybody had a paycheck. I mean, you can't. I think working here, you, you you're like in a bubble. We don't really see the bad out there because of the members and keeping us employed. It really hasn't affected us that much, knowing that you have a paycheck coming in. First of all, the, the pride of and the de de dedication of all the food and beverage staff uh, to to respond in such a manner uh, during those times, and all of them have been so great. But we are also so lucky to be working with such a community of, of, uh, of members that are sending us some uh, support messages all the time uh, from email, from voicemail, from personal sign, from personal thank you. So we, we're very lucky to be working in such an, an, an environment and thank you Abby's members. The staff felt very safe when they were here. Uh, I personally felt very safe when I was here. The, I mean, IBIS took care of their staff. Uh, their members. We were able to um, work remotely, although uh, we weren't here as much initially for the first couple weeks. We were working remotely um, several days a week. Uh, we were employed. Uh, I know so many people were not, so we were very fortunate that IBIS was able to keep its staff employed. It, it was really, if I had to be anywhere, like I said, this is where I would like to be. And the measures that they're taking to keep us safe um, and as well as our members is it, above and beyond. It's, I'm again so thankful to work at IBIS and, and how much they care for their employees and members. Um, but you know I've been at IBIS almost four years now and I've seen how they react in many situations, the hurricane situations uh, and now this COVID-19. It just really shows um, how much they appreciate and value their staff. Um, well they're 
have been employees that need an extra time to spend with their family members and uh, I've got a strong team so we all rallied together and just supported each other and we didn't miss a beat. And right now we're just real excited to, to get back out and, and to continue to work.